Hello Ed Explorer, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to our channel. If you are joining us for the first time here at Ed Explorer, we go beyond borders to bring you inspiring content and also some very educating information. Hopefully you found some time to check our previous videos. If you haven't done so, we would encourage you to do so. Today we shall be looking at the country Namibia. By the end of this video, we will be able to shine our light onto Namibia as never seen before. We will also review the country's characteristics and the reason why this particular country is so unique. Without any much delay, we shall just go straight into it. For those of you who don't know Namibia, Namibia, officially the Republic of Namibia, also called internationally and until then, since 1968, at Southwest Africa. It was pronounced as Africans in Namibi or the Sudwest African. It's a country located on the southwestern coast of Africa. It is bordered by Angola to the north, Zambia to the northeast, Botswana to the east, South Africa to the southeast and south, and then the Atlantic Ocean to the west. It ranges from arid in the north to deserts on the coast and in the east. The landscape is spectacular, but the deserts, mountains, canyons, and savannas are perhaps better to see than to occupy. Moving forward in this spectacular African country, Namibia, of course, is amazing. The only permanent river are the Kunen and the o o Okavango, uh, that's a Kubongo thing, and the Mashi and the Zanzibi. Uh, on the northern border and also the orange on the southern part of the country. Only the northern frontier and not all of it is readily passable. The coastal Namibian desert, the treacherous reefs and also the shores and the coast, this is just actually half. The near desert along the Orange River and the dry Kalahari regions to the east explains the actual conquest of the Namibian and the front geographical location in this particular located nation that spread its wings uh, in different parts across that particular part of Africa. Roughly rectangular in shape, Namibia, moving forward, Namibia has a long, narrow and eastern extension. It is actually based on a German misconception that the access to the Zambezi, despite the Victoria Force, meant access to the Indian Ocean. That also affects its shape at the time. After 106 years of German and South African rule, Namibia became independent on March 21, 1990, under a democratic multi-party constitution. The capital of the country is called Vinduk. If you are new to Edusplora, we would encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. With regards to its political system in Namibia, the Republic of Namibia is a sovereign, secular, and democratic and unitary state. Its government is divided into the usual three powers, the executive branch, the legislative, and also the judicial system. The head of state and the government is the president. He is elected in a national election that's been designed to be every five years. With regards to the economy of Namibia, interestingly, this is also one of the most powerful and really strong country with regards to its emergence. Namibia is a lower middle income country, so to classify them, the main economic sectors are mining, fishing and fish processing. Agriculture and tourism also play a major role. Its economy is based on income from exports of primary raw materials in some important sectors. These sectors could include things, uh, areas like minerals, especially diamonds, livestock, and also fish. With regards to mining, mining accounts for about 12% of the country's GDP, but it provides even more than over 50% 50 50 of foreign exchange earnings. Looking at Namibia, its actually rich alluvian diamonds deposits makes Namibia a primary source for gem quality diamonds. This is also interesting whereby marine diamonds mining became increasingly important. The country is also amongst the world's largest producer of uranium. 
with regards to uranium in this particular country, the Namibia economy remains vulnerable to fluctuations in global commodity, price and also natural disasters such as drought. In drought years, actually, Namibia faced food shortages and also in rural areas that also affects the country in a whole lot of ways. If you are new to Edu Explorer, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Namibia also is considered also developed in its own making. With regards to the transportation network in Namibia, Namibia has one of the best developed road networks in Africa. The country has two modern ports, one at Varvis Bay and the other port of Luderitz. The state also benefits from a robust rally network of over thousands of kilometers of which consists of rails actually, which consists all major and connect major towns and cities in Namibia. Of course, Namibia formerly this particular country also enjoys the airline services to destinations in South Africa, Europe and other parts of the world. The National Airlines of Namibia is headquartered at the Hosea Kokoto International Airport at St. Vinduk. With regards to the land of Namibia, Namibia is divided from west to east into three main topographic zones. The coastal Namibian desert, the central plateau and also the Kalahari. The Namib is partly rocky and partly and also while having complex flora and fauna, it is fragile and sparsely convert environmental unsuitable for pastoral or agricultural activities. Diamond probably washed down from the, the Busoto Highlands by Orange River and the uranium found at this particular area in South and the Aradis centers. Its Namib, for example, has a vast length of areas which restrict and constrict also the northern part of the country and which affects it as a result of these particular minerals makes the land difficult for cultivation in this particular area. This has really affected the way Namibia is perceived agriculturally. Less than 1% of the country is estimated to be arable, though almost two-thirds is suitable for pastoralism. Westlands, mountain deserts, and bush or wooden savanna plus small forest zones constitute the remainder. About half of the entire population live in far north, roughly 15% in the commercial ranching areas north and south of Vindu. That's 10% in the central and also southern ex-black homelands and also more than 10% in the greater Vindu area. As a result of this, it has actually made Namibia to face its own challenges. With regards to the people, about 85% of Namibians are black, 5% of European ancestry, ancestry and also 10% of, as in South African terminology, you can call the colored and also people from this particular region. Of the black majority, about two thirds are Ovumbo and with Kavanga, the hero, and the Damara, and the Caprivian people following the population size. Other ethnic groups have much smaller populations. Africans and Germans constitute two thirds and one fifth of European population, respectively. Most ethnic Europeans are Namibian citizens, though some have re retained South African citizenship. Of course, English is a national language, though it is the home language of the only about 3% of the population. A Vombo language are spoken by more than 80% of the population, followed by Nama Damara, which is just over 6%. In terms of the religion in this particular country, it is interesting to know that uh, Namibia has actually emerged in its own way. Agriculture and commercial farming are some of the other th activities that takes place. But again, it is an interesting country that has emerged in its own strength and they are moving forward. Mining is central to the economy, as we've mentioned earlier. It accounts for just over 30% in different areas. There are other activities that forms to develop the economy of Namibia and is recognized in different areas. It is also important to understand that Namibia has got its own different challenges. There are different things that move the country forward 
and the country as a whole has moved in different areas and so to say Namibia has become a very interesting and a very important player in terms of economy and in different areas within the African continent. Thanks for watching. If you are joining us for the first time, we want to encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. That's all what we got for you for Namibia. For those of you who plan to travel to Namibia, we would encourage you. It's an interesting country with lots of characteristics, fun places to visit, good people and we would encourage you also to go beyond the Vinduk area and see the amazing landscape of Namibia. For now, we want to thank you for watching. Please share our videos. We will be looking forward to meeting you in our next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.